Hello, everyone. Welcome back to... Dramatic pause. <coughs> <coughs> Fuck, I ruined it. <coughs> Fuck. It's the Prime Fan Podcast, you know the one. Um, Pop Culture Podcast. Welcome everyone. How's everybody doing? I hope everyone's doing well. Um, it's just me. You know me. My name's Dan. Um, I host this podcast, believe it or not. And today, we got stuff to talk about. We got a lot, actually. Um, but, you know, for starters, doing well. It's been a good week. We got you know, good vibes going all around, everywhere, every which way. Um, let me tell you, I got Amazon gift cards for Christmas that I was still deciding on, like, oh, what should I buy with it? And um, settled on some protein powder because I got, like, a fucking drum of it for 40 bucks. And I'm like, yeah, we're not. But there was 12 extra dollars left, and I'm like... I should really try and spend this on, like, something useful that, like, you know, I can use. So, like any sane person would. I bought those, like, Lay's ketchup chips that are only available in Canada, so that's what I have look to, uh, that's what I have to look forward to in my life, and I'm okay with that. I'm totally fine with that. Honestly, dreams and, like, ambitions kind of overrated in 2021. I don't know if you agree with that one, but, like, eh, just kind of just prefer like junk food man like honestly i wish i had it in me to just like balloon up man like i'm trying to hit 300 if possible i mean to, like honestly i could do it i don't get uh, it's kind of unfortunate because like how my body type is is i can put on weight easily uh, mostly fat but like i can put on weight easily but trying to lose weight no that doesn't happen to me <laughs> Uh, so shout out my parents for giving me shitty jeans, but it is what it is. So you want to me lose some. I mean, I'm built like a, like a drum set. I'm wide. I'm built like a fridge. Kind of. Not really at all. I'm kind of, uh, I'm, I'm like skinny fat. You know what I mean? I'm like my arms aren't big. My legs are kind of beefy, but I'm just, all the fat's just chilling in the stomach area and I can't do shit about it. If anyone has any recommendations, please tell me, because God knows, I've tried everything. There I go again, saying things in the name of God when I'm not religious at all. Weird. Um, I'm sorry. It's It's been a weird week, actually. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like mentally not here. I'm just trying my best, but hopefully people understand and they're like, you know what, dude, that's fine. I get it. Because, to be honest, it's been a pretty weird week. Um... We're going to start off with some sports, actually. You know, we don't haven't done that in a while, but, you know, we got we got NFL playoffs. So, you know, for all my, you know, sports friends out there, just want to keep you posted on, you know, what's going on in there. How's everything doing? So, honestly, all good games, by the way. I think the only kind of depressing one was the Rams and Seahawks game. That was kind of a letdown. But, like, every other game was pretty close and actually pretty good. Um, I'm trying to, let's see, we had Tampa, Washington, which was a lot closer than it needed to be, because I think Tampa's a much better team, and Washington is 7-9 and nine and got in the playoffs somehow, because that division was an absolute fucking dumpster fire, and you love to see it, but, um, yeah, you know, Brady's Brady, he popped off. I don't know how many people who listen to are, like, into sports, but I'm just trying to trying to educate you I'm trying to keep you updated on like what's going on and like not just the world but like every aspect of you know i guess every form of entertainment that i can help you with because that's what pop culture is and that's what i talk about because i'll be honest it's very easy to find pop culture topics because there is literally something happening every day like nine times out of ten you'll find a week where it's like you'll find calm weeks i guess where you just don't find shit but I'm out here trying to educate you. That's the point of the show. You get me? Uh, um, Tampa beat Washington. 
pretty whatever. This is a good game. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, Ram Seahawks. It wasn't really a good game. I'll be honest. Um, Seahawks just kind of like didn't do anything, and then the Rams beat them essentially. Um, but all, more, more importantly, we're gonna be shouting out Buffalo and the Cleveland Browns for getting to the playoffs, especially the Browns getting to the playoffs for the first time. 20 ish years, and then the Bills won their first playoff game in almost 25 fucking years. I wasn't even alive since the last uh, Buffalo win. But I mean, they did good. Everyone did good. Um, I don't know more else to say. I'm just trying to get. Honestly, I really just want to talk about this so I could segue into what I really want to talk about, which is just sports related, but not necessarily football related. And this one was interesting to me because I don't keep up with hockey. Does anybody? I don't think so. Nowadays, hockey. I remember as a kid, I loved hockey. I couldn't play because we couldn't afford to play hockey just because that shit's expensive in terms of traveling, getting all the gear. And I couldn't ice skate for shit, man. I can't even rollerblade. I'm bad at both, so I just don't do them. Just mean, yeah, why would I? But um, a forward for the San Jose Sharks named Evander Kane somehow is... million dollars in debt now i don't know how he did this seeing as he signed a seven-year contract with a it's 49 it was a 49 million dollar contract over seven years how does he get to be twenty eight thousand dollars in debt you might be wondering well He's got a lot of lawsuits, apparently. Uh, apparently, he bought three homes, because why not, I guess. Um, I know he lost, I think it was like $8 million into gambling. Or he wasted a fuck ton of money into gambling. But it was um, there was an $8.3 million lawsuit against him uh, filed by Sentinel Bank. Now, I don't know how athletes do this. Because, like, it doesn't happen too often, but there's a lot of cases where, like, athletes just, like, get a fuck ton of money and then have no idea what to do with their money. Or they just get... I mean, a lot of times I think it's people are young and stupid, so they just kind of, like, oh, what do you do with your first mill? And it's like, oh, I bought a car, I bought a Rolex, and shit like that. And they just kind of go off, and I get that. But how the fuck do you spend... How do you get $26 million in debt, man? You're making 49 over the course of seven years. Hire a fucking accountant. It's not that hard. I mean, I guess that's just my perspective, but like, when you think about it, like, just hire an accountant or literally just leave it in the bank. There's no harm in that. It'll get interest. Look to fucking like put into stocks if you want to be smart. I I mean, I'm not the person to say that because I have no idea how stocks work personally. Well, like, I know how they work, obviously, but I don't know what's good to invest in, what's bad to invest in, yada, yada, yada. But it's just so crazy to me. Because the other one I remember distinctly, which I thought was hilarious, was um, there's a pitcher for the Red Sox named Kurt Schilling. And he went in debt pretty fucking bad because for whatever reason, he was like, I want to open like a video game uh, company. I don't know if it was like a development company or publishing company, but that tanked really fast, and that went nowhere, believe it or not, so he lost all of that, (laughs) and then I think he became like an analyst for one of those sports networks, so he's doing fine now, but it always amazes me to see like what athletes spend their money on, and it's also, I guess, entertaining to me that like (laughs) there's like 20-year-olds that get into the league, and it's like, I don't know, imagine you at like 19, 20, and you just get hmm, like five million dollars like what would you do with it obviously you're probably not going to be smart with it unless you are smart then hey kudos to you but nine times out of ten it's i'm buying a car i'm buying new sh- new clothes all designer getting the rolex um buying mom something because you have to like ah, uh, that's one like you're obligated i feel when you are a famous athlete i don't know if it's in a contract or what it is but if all of them are obligated to buy their mom or their dad like a brand new car which i'm not hating i love to see it but it's just 
is it in the contract for everyone to do it or is it just like everyone's like i appreciate them i'll get them this which is like totally fine i'm not hating by any means don't get me wrong i just want to know if like everyone does it because they have to if they're just like they're actually just that nice i'll take i'll give them benefit of the doubt and say like yeah they're that nice but you never know in this day and age am i right yes i am i'm answering my own questions now i'm a psychopath um bottom line don't get 26 million dollars in debt it's i don't know i wonder if that's like an upbringing thing because i i wonder if it's he had a lot of money growing up so he's like oh fuck it'll never run out or if it's like he didn't have money as a kid so it was like fuck it i'm living out my fantasies i'm going to pop off financially which either way as much as like i'm clowning him for it i do similar shit like if i if i just randomly came across uh 40 million dollars yeah i pop off of course i mean i think i'd be smarter about it just because i've seen there like a lot of people's mistakes but i could definitely see myself you know getting a nice little lamborghini maybe a nice little nice little house is that the thing though it looks so weird because i don't want a big house like a two-story house that's more than enough for me honestly when it comes to buying a house or like renting an apartment i the only thing that really matters to me is that there's an island in the kitchen like you know you know what an island is like the counter in the middle of like the kitchen area give me one of those and i'm satisfied that's all i've ever wanted I don't have it in my apartment. My kitchen is like, it's like a hallway. It sucks. <laughs> you can't have two people in there at the same time. Um, I We, we should know because we try and it's not efficient. But um, that's all I want, man. But I think it'd look really weird to just have like a one story house and then just like a Lamborghini Aventador just parked out front. A lot of people would like question it and they were like always like walter whiting it selling like meth to people maybe i don't know if you heard that bang my sister's trying to build a desk right now and it's she's going at it um oh well another news is uh our other cat our most recent cat just got spayed and now she has to wear a cone and she is the most pitiful miserable thing i have ever seen in my life and i feel bad because our other cat wants nothing to do with the cone he is actually just scared of it <laughs> so he's just like avoiding her at all costs but um yeah how did i get on that what the fuck is wrong with me regardless um yeah be wise with your money don't don't be stupid i, I like that's the thing is like just hire somebody hire an accountant that's like a dent absolutely a dent not even a dent that's like a fucking speck of dust on your income just hire someone jesus um here before we get to the the big big news um i don't know if how old you are or maybe you had kids that watched it growing up but there was a movie called shark boy and lava girl now it was not a good movie and i can promise you it did not age well. So what did they decide to do? They made a sequel. And to be expected, it's terrible. But it's so fucking weird. Because they went with, like, it's the kids of the superheroes. And, like, all the superheroes, like, lost to the villains. And now it's, like, spoiler alert, sorry. Now it's, like, the kid's job to um save the world or something. And it's weird because they don't refer to their parents by like mom or dad they refer to them by their superhero names and i feel like that's just so fucking weird um another thing they try to be very uh what's the word hip and we're using terms uh the everyday terms we're using yeet um i think they talk like texas speech like they say lmfao kind of that deal but for the love of god can we stop making sequels? I don't know if like we're just that far along with uh, film and shit that making original movies is like a hard thing to do, but you just don't see it nowadays. I mean, I guess like nowadays it's kind of hard with COVID going on, so filming might be difficult, yada yada. But still, like this is stemming back like the past maybe ten-ish years. The amount of like spinoffs and sequels we have are just so 
not it, man. I can't think of one sequel. Well, I probably could. But there hasn't been, like, any sequel I can think that is better than the original. Unless, like, it needed to be there. I guess if you want to count, like, Marvel movies and them being, like, canon with each other. Like, even I mean, like, the first Avengers are good, but Age of Ultron is kind of uh, dooky. It's kind of ass. And then you got Endgame and what was the one before it? I don't remember the name. But regardless, just stop making fucking remakes, man. We got Shark Boy and Lava Girl, and it's like they didn't even get Taylor Lautner to do Shark Boy, because obviously, why the fuck would he? But they somehow got the girl again, and like, good on her for trying her best. But um, yeah, they just slapped a helmet on the other dude, and they're like, uh, make sure he's like kind of the same skin color so people won't think about it. But I don't know, man. It's I'm so I hate these things so fucking much. But they they have their own, you know, uh, what's the word? Like music scene, and um, they all sing like an original song together. Uh, absolutely adorable. Uh, ask me why I watched it. I'll do anything when I'm high, man. That's that's a guarantee. You can convince me to do pretty much anything. And if someone, I someone was like, "Did you know they came out with the new Shark Boy Love Girl movie?" And I'm just sitting with my friends, and I'm like, "Dude, there's no fucking way they made this. <laughs> there's literally no way they made this." So, that's a thing. Um, you know, I here, I don't want to come off as just a negative Nancy. If you know Shark Boy and Lava Girl is your thing, go for it. I'm not gonna stop you if you're like, "Damn, I really want to know how the second movie turns out." Go for it. I'm sure if you were a diehard Shark Boy and Lava Girl fan, you'll love it. And also, it's kind of like, I feel like kind of demoralizing to him that the Shark Boy and Lava Girl, not like Shark Man and Lava Woman. Like, they, they're they adults now. They had a kid. They, they fucked. How are they still, how do you still call them boy and girl? We don't call Super, I mean, when Super Superman was a kid, they didn't call him Superboy. They called him Superman. That's what it is. Wonder Woman. They didn't call her Wonder Girl. They called her Wonder Woman. Just get with the times, man. No one can be a kid forever. <laughs> I think that was like the concept of the first one too, where they were just kind of like, oh, you get some about a fucking dream journal and George Lopez is made of electricity. It, if you never watched it, I, I don't want to say do drugs to get through it, but like that's probably the only way you'll get through it. There's no way you can watch the movie sober and you're like. That, that wasn't a waste of time. I used my time wisely there. Granted, like, if you're, you know, under the influence of any sorts, it's probably not a good use of time either, but, like, you're not hurting anybody. Just do your thing. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> but, yeah, it's... It's something, man. Um, In the same vein of movies, um, I recently watched Soul, which is... Uh, I think it's on disney plus it's a very cute pixar movie um uh, well very cute but it's it's a really actually well-made pixar movie like i wouldn't call it the best one of all time but i'd i'd, I'd put it in the top 10 probably maybe top six seven very emotional but it actually did a really good job i was very it's very emo at the end and i didn't expect to feel that way about a pixar movie at my age you know what i mean but like damn it really got you on the the feels train really uh not hit home obviously because i'm not it's about like a jazz musician i guess like finding himself somewhat yada yada i don't want to spoil anything because i actually do recommend to go watch that it was definitely it's definitely a good movie but it did hit me with the like post movie post show depression where like oh man that's how it ended oh and then you got to kind of like try and find something to fill the void you know what i mean you've been there we've all been there um but I will say I wanted a little light things to start the day because this thing happened um like a few hours after I recorded last week po- last week's podcast and I was like I remember I think I said last week like damn nothing really happened and then um we got a Trump mob storming the US Capitol and then forcing Washington into lockdown and Unless you live under a rock, I'm sure you've seen this. And God, was it a fucking mess. So the Congress was 
counting the votes to validate them, yada, yada. And it was a, like, pro-Trump riot. And the way this article, um, uh, like, states it is that they were battling police, but then you can see, like, hundreds of videos of, like, police officers like, yeah, 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 come on, come on, or, like, moving the fence and, like, not really fighting back. And... God, was it a fucking mess. So they stormed the Capitol. See, I can go on for this for hours, and I'll go on for quite a bit. But I'm really, like, genuinely curious of, like, who are you? Because a lot of it was like, we got to take back America. We got to get our country back and shit like that. And it's like, A, who are you taking it back from? And B, like, in what way were you oppressed to, you know, incite this shit. Like, you know, we had the Black Lives Matter movement. Fucking George Foley died. And there was a few others, Breonna Taylor, that incited it. And they had a valid reason to, you know, do the things they did. And this one just doesn't make any fucking sense. So they, they're climbing the walls. They're fucking getting into the Capitol. They're in the, like, conference room they're taking pictures one dude's like on pelosi's desk feet up and shit like that like genuinely like just a scary thing to happen and five people died from it um i think two or no i think one was a police officer and then the four other one dude got like beaten to death with a fire extinguisher or something of that nature and then one woman got shot in the throat um just a sad fucking scene and there's literally no excuse for it and i i mean now he's gonna get impeached a second time so there's no way this motherfucker's running again and thank christ but it's just it's so ridiculous the like mob mentality that he inspired in those people because it's not about politics at that point like it's just a cult kind of thing like it's i i see it as like a religion and he's the god for them. And that alone is terrifying. That's such a terrifying fucking thought. But like that's how it is. And it's so scary. So they get in the capital. People are fucking getting beat and shit. And then a lot of the police were not like trying to stop anything or doing anything at all. Like a lot of them were almost joining in. And then a report came out like a couple days ago that some of them were off-duty cops that were in there and it's like you can't make this shit up like you lit like i'm using like a lot because i don't have the words to describe it and i'm just oh it's so infuriating because there's no excuse man there's literally no excuse you could ever come up with me that could validate any of this oh god it's frustrating and then you had people like fucking Matt Gates, where I hope that dude, fuck, I don't hope he dies, but I hope he never finds happiness in his life. This motherfucker's trying to say like, oh, but they, we have the facial, facial recognitions from an article from the Washington Post that's saying um, the rioters were actually uh, undercover Antifa people. And then Washington Post's like, dude, we didn't say that shit. And then he... Like, that's the thing, that's the thing that's annoying is, like, he can get away with saying that shit, and nothing's gonna come from it. And it's the same with, like, all of them. Nothing's gonna come from it. And I love fucking, um, uh, Donald Trump Jr. takes a video of the the whole family in, like, a tent watching the surveillance of, like, everything happening. I mean, the video was taken before it, like, turned to riots, and, like, people were, like, attacking Capitol and shit. But like the video, like they're just having a good time listening to music, and it's just like, what the fuck is going on? And that's the worst part is no one's surprised. Everyone's just kind of like, it's like despicable, it's disappointing, and like, I don't know. It's just that no one's surprised, and that's so depressing. <laughs> but I mean, there's a whole um, in the article. There's a whole uh, like timeline of what happened. Now you can read it. Here, I'll run through it. Um, at 11 a.m., Trump's State of America rally begins with the first president's sons uh, talking about shit. Um, and then they gathered in front of uh, the Eclipse. And I guess they kind of just walked their way down to the Capitol. 
uh, at 1 p.m., lawmakers gather for a joint session in the House of Representatives chamber to count electoral college votes, or they're, you know, validating the votes, even though they fucking are. Because, God. Oh, my God, it's so fucking funny. It's so disappointing. And then, I guess at 110, riders begin grappling with the police on the Capitol steps. Oh, yeah. They got a map of everything. That's good. Um, Capitol Police order evacuation of Liberty of Congress, Madison Building and Cannon House Office, building on Independence Avenue across from the Capitol. Um, riders have crossed uh, Statuary Hall, the chamber that separates the House and Senate, heading for House and Senate at 2.30. Um, the mayor orders city curfew for 6. Breach the police line on the west. Yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> They were let in. You know, they're scaling the wall up and nothing's being said about it. It's so fucking funny. Not funny, but just like, what the fuck are you doing? Um, People getting inside. And there's pictures of like, it, it looks like in like Call of Duty Black Ops zombies where they like break the windows and you're sitting there with a the gun. It looks like that. Um, They get in at like three o'clock. And then uh, pictures of people, like, sitting at desks and shit. Now, keep in mind, all these people are, like, under arrest for, like, 10 years or so. Based entirely off, ironically, like, one of Trump's laws that would uh, condemn treason for, like, 10 plus years. So, that's funny as shit. And then uh, at 8 p.m., they resume the voting and everything's fine. It's going to be Biden who's president. Who'd thunk? And aftermath, five dead and at least 68 arrested. Nice. Could have been avoidable entirely. Dude, these fucking people are not human beings. Literally not human beings. <laughs> I, I, I do not know how to describe it. It's just like monkeys loose in a fucking zoo. And all of them think they're fighting for something, but they, they're not fighting for anything. There's no imminent threat. I don't know why he has such a cult following when all, like, basically everything he's put out has just been so, I don't know, man. I don't have the words. It's so disappointing. <laughs> but, yeah, missed that last week, sadly. But I guess at least I got it this week? Kinda? I don't know, man. The world's fucking crazy. It's going up in flames. But hopefully when Biden takes office, maybe things will be better. Probably not right away, but... We get a step in the right direction. I mean, honestly, it's just like a breath of fresh air. Obviously, it's not Biden's probably not everyone's ideal candidate, and that's fine. But it's not Trump, and that's really all that fucking matters, man. And I, normally, I'm like, well, I don't want to talk politics, but it's like, who fucking cares, man? There's nothing wrong with having something to talk about. And the only time politics becomes an issue is if you have, I don't know, if you guess if you can't see other side. If there's no like, what's the word? I guess, like, evidence that their side makes sense. Like, see, I say that, but listening to these fucking people talk, I just don't feel the same way, I guess. Like, it's hard to convince me that, like, I guess what Trump's done has been good. Shit of that nature. Like, I'm sure he's had a couple good things. I'm not the most political person ever, so I don't know everything. But, like, I'm sure you could find something where I'm like, you know what? Sure, fine, that's good. But about... Eight to nine out of the ten other things? Yeah, no, fuck that, man. And a lot of it is just the people, too. Like, I'm sure there's some good people out there. But, um... Based on what I saw, uh, like, last Wednesday, uh... It's kind of hard to agree. And that's the thing, is, like... I, I don't want to, like, lump everyone together, because it's, like... I'm sure there's some good people out there. But everything I've seen is just the same like everyone acts the same way and they all like think they're fighting for the same thing it just doesn't make any fucking sense to me anymore man i don't know i guess i'm losing my mind slowly but surely oh here it is <laughs> um i don't know if you know the brand razor which is like the computer peripherals like mouse keyboards they got like mics headphones everything of that nature and um today they announced that they're releasing like a mask and 
Now, I'm sure the gamers out there are like, fuck yeah. But the way they described it, it's literally just like a normal ass mask. But they're like, it pre the cool air comes in and cold air goes out. It, it's... And it's the same thing with everything but they're like oh there's a science to it just so people are like wow that that's a reason to buy it but in reality it doesn't mean shit but it just sounds cool it's one of those things so they um announced the mask and it's like there's nothing special about it except for that it's like their brand that is razor but it's just it's literally just like a normal ass mask except it's like um like i guess plexiglass like see-through glass and it has something uh, fuck what is it oh a silicone mold for your face so that it's more comfortable on your face and they're like we know it's one big thing about masks is that we um it's hard to have conversations because you're muffled well now people can read your expressions from your face and it's like i hmm I'm sure to someone out there, sure, but like to probably everyone else in the world, dude. What? <laughs> like it's just a it's just a cash grab. Like this isn't needed. You didn't need to make this. I don't think you're really helping anyone either because you're gonna slap like a fucking fifty dollar price tag on it when you can literally just wear the blue masks that get the job done. Probably better than that. Ah, eh, maybe not better. But it's just like you're wearing like a whole fucking gamer rig on your face. Like it's cool. It looks cool. I'll give it that. But it's so unnecessary. It's so over the top that it's like, come on, guys. You didn't do this because you care. You knew you could get people to spend fucking $50 on it. Let's be honest. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'll put a link to it down below. And like, I'm sure there'll be a picture in the article. But yeah, please take a look at it and tell me why you need it. And give me a, write me a five page essay MLA formatted on why you need the razor mask and then we'll reconvene next week and we'll talk about it. it'll be like a book club but that's all i got today guys honestly kind of a shorter episode but it is what it is i suppose um thank you for listening uh you know where to find us every audio platform except for soundcloud uh if you could be so kind as to leave a rating if you enjoyed it maybe a comment maybe some constructive criticism any feedback is welcome and appreciated and it's been me your host dan and i will catch you guys next week and i hope you have a great week it hopefully will be better next week i don't know i've just been kind of off this week been like out of my groove just in a funk so i'm trying trying to persevere and i'm sorry if it's not as good as other weeks Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Anyways, take care. Love you. Be safe.